Hi, I'm Lauren Francis Sharma, and I am the author of the debut novel, To the Well Runs Dry. To the Well Runs Dry is a story that comes out of one small moment in a hospital room. My grandmother had had a stroke, and we rushed up to New York to see her. And as I was sitting next to her hospital bed, I was thinking about how I hadn't asked her questions about herself. I hadn't asked about her life, about her journey to America from Trinidad. I hadn't asked her about why she left. There were so many questions that I had. And even though she was a very private woman and probably wouldn't have answered those questions, I really felt a sense of loss as I was sitting there. And my writing this book was filling a void for myself. About maybe six months after my grandmother had that stroke, my paternal grandfather passed away. And my parents, myself, my sister, we had to go to Trinidad. And while we were there, we were in a pretty reflective mood. And we took a trip up the North Coast Road to this village where my grandmother's from, Blanchichez, which is a place in Trinidad that the novel is mostly set. As we were there, we took a walk to the beach. And I sat down in the sand. And I really just felt very connected to the place in a way that I hadn't before. And I was thinking about my grandmother being a young woman there and growing up there. And it's quite a lovely, quaint little place and feels so much like it would have 70 years ago. But I got up from the sand and I realized that I had to write a story about a girl from this place. And that girl was Masia Garcia, who is the protagonist of Till the Wild Runs Dry. Masia, when you meet her, is a 16-year-old seamstress, and she lives in this village, and she meets a police officer, an ambitious young man, Farouk Karam. They fall in love, but not easily. Farouk is impatient with how long it's taking Masia to fall for him, and he goes to an obia woman, a witch doctor, to get assistance to help her, to help him fall in love, or to help him have Masia fall in love with him. It doesn't end well for either of them, mostly because Masia is not a woman, not a girl to be rushed. She needs to take things, she needs to take things slowly. She has a secret that Farouk doesn't know about, and it causes her to be very cautious. To the Well Runs Dry is a story about love. It's a story about motherhood. It's set in rural Trinidad, mostly. And it starts in the 1940s and takes the reader through the 1960s. It's a story of migration. It's a story of grief and loss and race and class. It's a story where you meet two people and you follow them and their family life and hopefully you feel like they become a part of you.